Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim, and thank you again for taking the time to stop by my channel. Well, the focus of today's video happens to be the Kenner Star Destroyer. And uh, this is one that I received as a child. In fact, I can distinctly remember it was sometime in September, either 1980 or 1981. September's when my birthday is. I had asked for the snow speeder. And alas, it was always gone off the shelves uh, whenever uh, birthdays or Christmas happened. I had been given some money for my birthday, and so I went down to the store with Mom, and there they had no snow speeders, <laughs> but they had boxes of these Star Destroyers. And since I didn't have this in my collection, I sort of reluctantly, and I can just remember that feeling, it wasn't really what I was hoping for, but I didn't have it, so I picked it up. And somehow my brother got one too, and his birthday was the month before, so I'm not sure how all that transpired. <laughs> But at any rate, uh, we'll uh, do the video showing you some boxes, some of the uh, documentation associated with it, and uh, then uh, leave you time to write any questions or comments that you may have. So you can see from the outside of the box, a uh, very colorful front. This is obviously the side that they would have displayed it to the kids. And uh, beginning with The Empire Strikes Back, we began to see less kid focus and just actually the toy. Uh, you look here at this side, and we have a nice color, uh, also color with uh, the figures, uh, and then some stills from the photo, or from the movie, I mean. Uh, and then on the back side, we have some black and white. As a kid, I oftentimes colored the, uh, the pictures there on my boxes. And then you can see that end, just black and white, as is this end here. I do have the original packing, incidentally. And also the price tag. It uh, sold for $17.95 with tax $18.88, which if you go online, that seems to be what it was selling for at the time. Now we'll take a look at some documentation. This is the original sticker sheet. And you can see that it's got some holes punched for a three ring binder. Uh, my mom, after the success of Star Wars, realized that these were going to be collector's items. And uh, she had the infinite foresight to have my brothers and I save our boxes. And I was such an OCD kid that I saved the instructions and everything else that came with it. Unfortunately, I stuck them in a three ring binder without sleeves um, and then hole punched them. Uh, once I found out about sleeves, I no longer did that. But anyway, uh, so here we have the front, and it's quite an expansive uh, instruction sheet. So there it shows you where to put the stickers, and then assembly of the ship. Also on this page shows you that where the batteries go in. It takes two C-size batteries. And then more assembly, and then here some features associated with the ship. And then uh, that's it. Another piece of documentation that's pretty cool is this little small red piece. If light stays on after installing batteries and cap, remove the cap and rotate so tabs are in opposite position. Well, let's take a closer look at the ship. So I assembled the figures that I have in my collection, uh, just like the ones in the box. And all but uh, one of the stormtroopers is from my childhood incidentally and I, I chose not to get out the weapons uh, but so let's take a look at the features obviously you see the death squad commander hanging from a peg off the ceiling uh, never once in the movie did I see Vader do that but uh, I guess Kenner thought that might be a way good way of torturing without <laughs> since you can't really choke somebody you can simulate it I suppose uh, at the front we have a gun and uh, it rotates around has a little clicking sound it's okay We'll uh, turn the ship around this way, and you can see where Vader is standing. He can rotate using this little lever. And then this is uh, kind of a mysterious piece. Uh, you move that tab down, and then this translucent red piece of plastic comes down. And according to the instructions, uh, it says here, uh, lower the hologram and have Darth communicate with the Grand Vizier. Okay, well, we're not talking from the movie Aladdin, Jafar. I would guess this is the Emperor. Uh, why they didn't write the Emperor in the instruction manual, I have no idea, because 
I think that was pretty clear who he was, but maybe it wasn't. Um, I'd have to go back and watch the movie again. We have this mysterious trap door that opens up with a push of a button. And mine never really latched properly. It uh, doesn't really stick all that well. But nonetheless, I guess if you needed a figure to escape out to the bottom of the ship, he could. And then the final feature happens to be where the batteries are loaded. So batteries are loaded in this long tube. And you press the button here and you'll see that red glowing light. And this is Darth Vader's meditation chamber. So you open that up and then you can place them in there to sit. Now I just have a few Darth Vader's from the Hasbro collection. And this is one from the gunner station. And he actually fits pretty nicely in there. I'll do a zoom if you can see. Turn the light. And he, he has bendable legs, so or bend, you know, the knees bend, so he can sit in there pretty well. The other Vader, the this one that came that Kenner produced, and the legs just go straight out. Well, the Star Destroyer is now decked out with the Hasbro Power of the Force and Saga figures. There you see the stormtroopers guarding the area. The Death Star droid looking up, going, Oh my. Admiral Ozzel is hanging from the ceiling since he was one of the victims of Darth Vader's anger. I thought it fitting to hang him there. And uh, Captain slash Admiral Piet staring up also as well in wonder. The Death Squad commander holding the fort. And then we have the bounty hunters. They're all assembled. Off to the... Uh, take up the entire area followed by the Death Star Gunner at the back. And then, of course, the Darth Vader, part of the Gunner Station, standing there in the center. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care, and we'll see you on a future date.